let's go ahead and just start throwing these. 15,000 XP. 33,000 XP. Up to 47,000. Welcome back everybody to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming and this is the Wasteland Survival Series where we play this game on a sane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed. And we play on a map that's made up almost entirely of the Wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen uh, World Generator. Okay, we are heading on down into the Horde Bunker. Uh, if you caught the last episode, you'll know that we very quickly did a Tier 3 quest and just got done with it. And now we are heading down into uh, the Horde base for Horde 84. Uh, so I grabbed the rest of the explosives that I made. Uh, we also made a blue M60 in the last episode, and it's about 11 points, uh, does 11 points more base damage than the green one we had before, plus, you know, all the other uh, improvements that it has, magazine size, that sort of thing. Uh, so we made that, and um, yeah, I think we're, we're ready to go for Horde Night. So let's get all of our explosives, our Molotovs, and let's see, we're going to put that stuff in there. And what else do we not need to keep in our inventory? We don't need those. We should keep the medical. In fact, we should probably have a couple of things in medical. Uh, we, we don't need the pipe wrench. We want to keep this for repairs. Uh, we're not going to need melee for anything. So maybe we'll put that in that slot. We can put the Molotovs there. We'll put the nades there. Um, and that should get us going. We're going to keep the luckies in, uh, in case, you know, for later on when we get bags, uh, at the end of Horde Night. <clears throat> uh, we don't need that for the moment, and I think what we'll do is we'll keep, we'll keep frames with us. I don't like to be without frames in this game, and we'll do three more stacks of 762. Okay, that should be good. Oh, you know what, though? We do need, we need steel in our inventory, so... Let's put the axe in here. We don't need the axe right now. Okay, I think we're good. So we're good on food and water for the moment. That's a lot of explosives. That is a lot of explosives. All right, everything is fully repaired from the last Horde Night, and so we should be good to go. It's basically, you know, one of the things I was thinking about doing when I watched the, <clears throat> the video after the fact was I might actually go ahead and put um, <clears throat> crisscross more electric fences going, uh, you know, a along the blocks. And the reason for that is because I was notices, noticing that some of the zombies seem to kind of bounce off to the side and not every one of them hit the center of that every single time. And so I, I think I'm going to do that. I just didn't get around to doing it this last time because I was so busy doing some of the other things that I wanted to get done, you know, like the upgrades on the base and all that kind of thing. So anyway, um... The other thing that we uh, that I want to make sure I'm doing is, yeah, we're wearing nerdies. I actually w was not wearing my nerdy glasses. I was wearing my luckies um, on the last Horde Night, and had I been wearing those, you know, we would have got a 10% more overall XP, and we went up almost three levels. So hopefully with those on, uh, we, you know, we might be able to pull that off. Now, the other thing that I was thinking about is, you know, we were having problems with cops... Um, blowing up before we could kill them. That caused a couple of problems. Uh, first of all, we didn't get the XP for killing the cop, and we didn't get the XP for any zombies that he took out with him. So this time, I'm, I've, I've been thinking about how I want to do this. Uh, what I was doing last time is I was throwing like four pipe bombs down without, a, without you know, detonating them, and then throwing a grenade and detonating everything in one big bang. Uh, and, you know, it worked pretty well. It did pretty good damage. I mean, we were seeing upwards of like 16,000 XP per explosion in some cases. Not not every time, of course. But what I'm thinking I might try and do this time is instead of throwing like four of these and then a grenade, maybe just throw them steadily uh, and just ignite everything. And, you know, the concept there is that hopefully it'll keep the cops, you know, stunned longer, uh, you know, so they don't blow up. I don't know. We'll see. If it doesn't appear to be for that to be working, you know, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, when I see cops down there, I'm going to try and shoot them, you know, from, from the sides 
as best as I can before they blow up. So we'll see how things go. But I think we'll start off. Oh, you know, the other thing I was thinking about doing, too, is I think I'm going to let them build up a little bit more before I start throwing the explosions uh, or the, the uh, explosives down there, too. Um, the downside to that is they're going to do a little more damage to the base with a cop spit. But, you know, I mean, we we should be able to stay on top of that, you know, with the repairs. Uh, you know, I don't know. So we'll try that. We'll just mix things up a little bit and we'll see ultimately what, you know, what's going to work best for us. Okay, so we got about 30 minutes in-game minutes before the horde starts. So I will see you guys in 30 minutes and let's go blow the hell out of the horde. Okay, here we go. Horde 84. We are a quarter of the way to the next level. Let's see how many levels we can get tonight. We've got our nerdies on this time, so it should help. It's too bad I didn't have all the stuff I needed for uh, Grandpa's learning elixir, but we, we're short one dog food. Okay, so let's just let a nice big old group of them build up. Most of them are hitting the fence. Got a white. Okay, that's a pretty good group. Let's go ahead and just start throwing these. I'm just going to kind of throw them steady. And then maybe we'll do a nade after we soften them up really good. 15,000 XP. We haven't gotten any cops yet, at least not that I've noticed. Okay, let's try a grenade. Thirty-three thousand XP. It's just accumulating though this time, and it's not in one fell swoop, of course. Up to forty-seven thousand. Okay, let's use a grenade. I can't really tell how effective this is because we haven't gotten any cops yet. <laughs> it's kind of funny how they stand up on each other's shoulders there. Lots of whites down there, my goodness. The other thing I guess we could try and do too is just shoot the cops when they get down there. Okay, let's try a grenade. Okay, we need more pipe bombs. Pretty good group of them. Whoa! That's funny how they... You know, I guess they just get backed up enough to where they can stand on each other's shoulders and, you know, bounce up here a little bit. Alright, now what we're gonna do is let's just let him build up a little bit. We might even uh, soften him up with one of these. I wanna wait till we get a, a whole bunch of them down there, though. Okay. Where's all the cops? Surprised we haven't gotten any yet. All right, let's let him build up again. I was—I didn't count how many, uh, how much XP we got from that last batch. Wow, they are coming down.
Okay, looks like that's all it's going to give me. So they do seem to kind of come in waves. Okay, we got the next level. Okay. Next batch is coming. We'll let him build up. No cops yet. I'm really surprised. Not complaining. Just surprised. We got a shitload of whites, though. All kinds of whites. Okay, looks like that's it. All right, here we go. Let's light him up with that. And start blowing him up. I think those guys would be more softened up than that, huh? <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Let the fire take care of some of them. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have thrown that last grenade, but that's right. Okay, we'll let him build up again. Let's get this loaded back up. You know, the other thing we could do, it kind of depends upon you know, how many they send after us at the at a time, but we could shoot all the cops. Um, first, you know, before we throw the explosives down. I haven't seen a single one yet tonight, though. Very interesting. All right, guys, well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I mean, I'm probably going to, maybe what I'll do is I'll time lapse this, but this is really all I'm going to do for the whole night. The only thing I'll, I'll do different is, you know, if we start getting cops, I'll probably, you know, try and shoot them with the M60. Um, and then probably sometime around one o'clock in the morning, I'll go, you know, quickly repair our electric fences. But otherwise... This is pretty much just wash, rinse, and repeat. And, you know, that's... Uh, that just goes to show this is our really good horde base. Really good. Day 84 horde, I mean... We got this, you know what I mean? So, pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, let's just go ahead and time-lapse from here, and I'll see you uh, in the morning.
All right, guys. Uh, this should be the last wave that we get uh, before morning. Uh, actually, we might, we might get one or two more. Let's see what happens. Okay, I think that's all of them. Um, I've had very few cops tonight. Probably like, oh, maybe a half a dozen at the most. And I was actually able to kill them all with the gun before they could spit. Which is great, because that way it means we don't have to do any repairs up here. Um, and then, <laughs> then I went back to uh, doing the, you know, four or five pipe bombs followed by a, a live grenade thing. Um, and it, that seems to work pretty good. So, I, I think I'm going to go back to doing that, but when I see cops, just like we did tonight, you know, we stop and we shoot them and try and prevent them from blowing up. That's the main thing, because when they blow up, you know, we don't get the XP for it, and they also, uh, you know, blow up some of the other zombies, and we don't get the XP for them, too, so. We pretty much got credit for every single zombie kill tonight, which is great. And I think that's it. We've got a few bags down there. Unfortunately, we lose a lot of bags uh, during, you know, during the course of the night, but there's not much we can do about that. Yeah, I mean, the damage that you see up here was was m from me. <laughs> so I had a, had a couple of mishaps with some uh, Molotovs. Um, no, actually, that's not even from the Molotovs. That's from a pipe bomb that I threw, and it actually landed up here. Uh, so I had to, I had to kind of run into the corner really quick and it didn't hurt me too much, but uh, you know, I had to take some, uh, some bandages. So that's really all this damage is, is just from that pipe bomb going off. I don't, I don't believe a cop spit a single time. Uh, not that I noticed anyway. So yeah, let's, uh, you know what, actually, before we do that, let's go get those bags looted and we can turn this off. All right, another very successful horde night. Uh, let's put our lucky looters on for the bags, and also we've got lots of explosives. We probably have enough explosives uh, to la to do the next horde night, or close to it anyway. Uh, I'll probably make a few more pipe bombs. I don't think we need to make any more nades. Not with the, you know, not at the rate that we've been going. We are going to probably need to make some more 7.62s, though. All right, let's head on down here and see what we can get out of the loot. Okay, 867 cash. All right, that's pretty good stuff. A little bit of food. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's that's a nice find. That's a really nice find. I like the SWAT helmets. Ooh, and another purple AK. Let's compare with the one we have. Uh, so we'll take the mods off. So this is ours, and this is the new one. The new one ha it has a faster rate of fire, but otherwise it's inferior in every other way. So we'll probably end up uh, fixing it up and then selling it. We'll make uh, pretty good money uh, from selling it. Okay, put that stuff back. This is this is actually a really nice helmet, though. Because um, it's a heavy armor helmet. How come it's not doing the comparison thingy? Oh, because they're exactly the same. Wow. I was, I, I was, I, I couldn't figure out, <laughs> I couldn't figure out why it wasn't, the stats were, it's, they're exactly the same, how about that, interesting, okay, well, um, yeah, there's absolutely no difference between the two of these, so I guess we'll just keep, you know, the, the steel one for now, and, uh, and look at this too, I mean, very minimal damage, uh, and that's because, you know, it's it's way better than it was last time, if you watched the last time I did the horde down here, because we didn't have the cops blown up. So, I mean, super, super easy to fix down here. Just, you know, uh, for for the most part, on most of these blocks, it's just surface damage. Just barely scratched. Uh, it looks like we only had, like, you know, two or three blocks that had what you might call significant damage. And remember, you know, I've got... This is like triple layer steel, too, so even if they do break through, uh, they're going to have to get through three or two more blocks before they even get all the way through it, so it's pretty stout. 
All right, guys. Well, I think um, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, this might, you know, might be a little bit of a shorter episode than usual, but we don't really have time to do anything else uh, for this episode. So I'm just gonna uh, get everything repaired back up. And uh, you know what I might do too, like I had mentioned, I might actually bring a tool, uh, a workbench down here, and then just you know stock it up with a bunch of uh, pipe bomb material and just have it make the pipe bombs, and then they're just th then they will just be down here all, for us all the time, and maybe even some more seven six twos. Then that way, you know, we don't have to keep scra scrambling for bringing them down here. And uh, you know, during the next horde night, we can just walk on down and get started, and we're all good to go. So. Uh, very pleased with how this base is, is working though. Absolutely thrilled with how it's how it's doing. All the damage that was done to us tonight was done by me. <laughs> so I don't know, it's just really really weird. Sometimes the Molotovs you can throw them right on through there, no problem. Sometimes they just for whatever reason don't seem to want to go through. And maybe I'm not using enough force, I don't know. But anyway, everything is fully repaired down here. We are in good shape. The doors are not damaged at all. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to let you go from here. I, I am going to have to go up into... Oh. I am going to have to go up into the chute um, and just touch up that because they always do a little bit of damage to it, but uh, not not a ton. And uh, did we check these outer... Oh, yeah. That one's... No, that's just the door. So I'll get that repaired. Uh, I'll, I'll make a workbench... And bring it down here and just have it, you know, cranking out ammo. And uh, I think we're, we've we got ourselves a really good horde solution. This base could pro will probably last us for the whole rest of this playthrough. Because um, it just works really well, you know. It just works really well. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.